now we are about to explore preserve the barrier what are you expecting what do you think you're going to see on this tour anyway when we say reserve the barrier it means that you're going to have different animals what kind of animals we're going to have we don't know until we explore so explore with us on reserve the barrier They run very fast. Eh? They run uh, 50 km per hour. Eh? 50 km per hour. 50 per hour. And they live 20 years. They are pregnant nine months. Eh? The symbol of our park national. Just saw about eight different animals. There are about eight species of birds here. So it's been nice. It's a nice experience. It's interesting to see the history um, and how they preserve this island um, and how they preserve this land and to protect the animals. Some of the wildlife is a little more relaxed here. There are warthogs, they don't seem to mind people's presence. Uh, there are monkeys you should not apparently feed fruit to. Uh, but yeah, no, it's been lovely to be out in nature. It'd be nice if this was more available in general throughout the world, to have different places of the world show off what their natural habitats look like without people destroying it. The Banjo Reserve has been an extraordinary experience, seeing not only the uh, different wildlife that we have experienced, but also hearing about the history of one of the centralizing trees has really been eye-opening and explored us or opened us to different cultures, not only here, but also found in other parts of uh, the Western Sahara. Today's experience here at the Reserve was very unique. Uh, getting to experience nature uh, and reconnecting with uh, the nature and the greenery, getting to hear the sounds of the birds and the animals uh, was very soothing. Uh, we saw some antelopes, we saw some gazelles, bisons, uh, giraffes, we even saw some a giraffe that was pregnant. Uh, we saw some baby bisons, uh, baby antelopes. Uh, we saw a lot of birds, such as the uh, uh, Zaro, um, a few monkeys, uh, getting to experience all of these lovely animals. Oh, and zebras.
we're standing here next to a banyan tree that has uh, some human remains in it, and it's the where they buried the griot from the village. So griot is a storyteller. Uh, you're not made a griot, you're born a griot. And if you lived your life as a griot, uh, once you passed away, this is where they buried you. That, that stopped in 1915, it became illegal, um, but they still preserve this uh, particular tree uh, to show the, the tradition. So uh, it's very, you know, very impactful and we're very respectful of it. Uh, we've seen buffalo, we've seen giraffes, uh, we've seen zebras, uh, we've seen uh, different species of monkeys. Uh, we even got to see ostriches uh, just now. Uh, so it's been uh, all kinds of animals, uh, beautiful, beautiful scenery. Uh, could, could stay here all day if I, if I needed to. So it's very, very beautiful. Wow, what a, what a treat. Um, as someone who was born and raised in Africa, this is a unique experience. I've actually never been very, very close to animals, to giraffe, to all these animals that I've seen today. But most importantly, it's been so long for me to really be directly connected to nature. Uh, so I was like, you know, really breathing in and out. Uh, I feel special, the breeze, the nature, you feel so special. There's something in the air that gives you a lot of hope and that is a lot. So that's something personal that I, you know, um, I reconnected to. You know, I saw something that really, you know, connected me deeply to the story of Africa. You know, the GRIO, uh, G-R-I-O-T, are the storytellers, like today media, before in Africa you don't have that. You only have the griot to really tell the story of Africa. I met some griot today, and they even told me, told us about, you know, how the griot were being buried here. We've seen that, we've seen like real scar, we see trees where people were being buried. This unique experience, I'm definitely coming back to Africa, my homeland, uh, and I feel like this was a message to me, like, David, you were born and raised here. Now you live in America doing all these things you're doing. Don't forget where you've come from always stay connected to your roots. Finally, we're back from the exploration of Reserve the Baja Forest. So we were able to feel the nature, see the animals live beyond what we see on the screen. So that's to tell you that uh, nature is live and it's good to always explore again and again. So JCRCNY Bridges uh, Fellow have uh, been able to sail through this peacefully and enjoy themselves with the nature. If you also want to reconnect back to Africa through Daylight Africa.